Greetings. Today I want to speak to you concerning how to become an alchemist. And it's very important for you to know also who is an alchemist. Now, my definition for alchemist is one who knows that he is actually the creator and that he can create his reality consciously. Therefore, he uses his mind power to achieve his every desire, having the understanding that everything is energy, vibration, and frequency. Therefore, if you want to become an alchemist, you have to first start with self. For as we all know, the mentor of Neville Goddard, Abdullah, the black mystic from Ethiopia, he told Neville that in order to become an alchemist, you have to start with self. Because there is no one to change but self. And there is no one to blame for anything in this world but self. This means that if you've been brought up to have a religious and a superstitious mentality and to have a colonial, slavish mentality, you will definitely have to change that mentality and learn to reprogram your subconscious mind. In other words, I'm saying to you, you'd have to break all form of mental slavery. So, you will have to unlearn and relearn. So you'll have to move away all of your limiting beliefs, all of your doubts, your fears, your self-condemnation, your self-hatred, all of the judgment, because all of that comes with your belief in secular Christianity, believing that the Bible is literal and believing that it is secular history and pointing you to look outwardly. So if you grew up looking on the outside for a savior, a, a redeemer, are you believing a God or a creator outside of yourself? Then you will definitely need to redeem yourself. And how can you redeem yourself? It starts with the renewing of your mind. Because that's the only how you can experience transformation. And all of that is actually you using energy, transmutation. So all is mind. And that is why for you to be a true alchemist, you have to look within to discover that the kingdom of God is within you. And that it is your own thoughts that is creating your reality and creating your personality. For as a man thinketh in his heart, a subconscious mind, so is he. So my brother, my sisters, there are certain things that you would definitely need to do if you want to live your life as an alchemist on this earth. First, you have to practice discipline. And you have to understand that attitude is everything. So me bringing this knowledge to you is one thing. But you applying it in your life is another thing. So if you would be disciplined enough to practice affirmation every day in the mirror, looking yourself straight in the eyes, which is actually the gateway to the soul, and speaking the most uplifting things in your life, the most positive things in your life. If you start by doing that, then it would definitely help you to learn to practice visualization every day. Practice meditation to calm your mind down every day. Practice mindful breathing and learn to embrace the silence. You'd also have to learn to embrace isolation. You'd have to find a time and a place where you can be with yourself and you can commune with yourself. 
knowing that every day or every moment of your life you are involved in a talking, in a conversation. And so when you conversate with yourself, you have to have a positive way of communicating with yourself. And all of that have to do with your beliefs. So if you have to put everything that I would have said together, it would mean to be a true alchemist, you would have to change your belief, your limiting beliefs. You'd have to change your mindset. And as I said before, let me just repeat it again. You'd have to unlearn and relearn. And you'd have to reprogram your subconscious mind. So my brother, my sister, start doing certain exercises for your mind. Start scripting. Write down the things that you like to manifest in this world. Write down your goals and your dreams. And if you're a person who grew up believing the Bible or reading the Bible, get to understand that the Bible is a book of mind science and that it must be interpreted psychologically. And once you do that and you learn to believe in yourself, you'll be able to have anything that you desire in this world. Because you will discover the secret of creation according to Matthew 633 and you'll be able to create your reality consciously. That is why also I give you a Bible called the 66 books of magic, the overcomers Bible with no Jesus in it, with a blank space for you to write your name. Because the name of God is I am from generation to generation and that is your name. So you're going to write I am in that blank space. And remember, you can never say I am and not referring to yourself. Now, when you do that, you are not looking to a savior or redeemer outside of yourself. You cannot be trapped in any kind of false identity or looking to anyone who doesn't look like you to be your savior. You're looking within yourself to find the savior within you. So, all of these things, you will definitely need to live your life as a true alchemist. One that is more aware. One that is more conscious. And one who understands that he can use his consciousness to create his reality. So, my brother, my sisters, consciousness is everything. And consciousness is what creates reality. In other words, imagination is what creates reality. Your awareness of being is what creates reality. And a true alchemist would always live his life knowing that everything is being created by energy, vibration, and frequency. And that everything is energy transmutation. So, with that being said, my brother, my sisters, I hope what I say, it makes sense to you and it really helps you in some way or the other. And I would like to say, if this message has been of help to you, and you haven't subscribed already, I'm definitely encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you would like to follow me on Instagram, or you would like to follow me on TikTok, you can follow me at Black Mad Guru. And if you feel strongly led to support this work, I just want to remind you that there's always a PayPal, and the link is down below. Also, you can become a part of my Patreon community and support this work. And on my Patreon, I have a course there that is for people who are donating 20 or more dollars. It's called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to Create Your Reality Consciously. And with me speaking about alchemy and me speaking about you being an alchemist, it is very important for you to discover the sun or the light that is within you. And then you will understand why it is said in the Bible in Psalms 84.11 that the Lord thy God is a son, a S-U-N, not a S-O-N. Not Jesus, not a man 2,000 years ago. That's a lie. They switch the S-U-N and give you the S-O-N. So he says that the, the son, the S-U-N of righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his... No, that's Malachi 4 and 2 I'm quoting there. So Malachi 4 and 2 says that the son of righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his wings. So righteousness and healing comes by you discovering... The light or the sun that is within you. The life force that is within you. And then Psalms 84, 11 says, The Lord thy God is a sun and a shield and no good thing will he withhold from you. Common sense will teach you that the sun has never withhold any good thing from humanity. For the sun is actually what powers all of humanity. 
and give all of humanity its energy. That is why I always say to you that the sun, as in the S-U-N, it parallels the human imagination. And the human imagination parallels the sun. For without the sun, there is no life and there is no light. And without the, and without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. So anyone who believes in Jesus as a literal man 2,000 years ago, that is deception. They switch the S-U-N, as I said before, and give you the S-O-N. So, the light of the world is not Jesus. A man 2,000 years ago, the light of the world is the sun. And if you see yourself as a child of the sun, you definitely need to get in alignment with the sun. Because as you can see, whatever the sun shines upon, it brings forth bountifully. It brings forth in abundance. And all of nature uh, reflects prosperity, a good health, and abundance. And that's supposed to be your birthright. So, if you feel strongly led to listen to these videos and to get in alignment with nature, I will definitely encourage you to do so. So, at this time, my brother and my sister, I want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.